On my way to the next adventure, I still couldn't really believe what is happening. And to be honest, I still didn't have any clue what I signed up for. That Monday night, I arrived at a one by three wooden cabin in the middle of the forest. My first night was so cold. I woke up freezing. And the first three days were one of the most challenging days of my life. During the days, I learned how to sandblast an oven, how to sharpen tools. And how to properly chop wood. I wasn't really used to these physical activities anymore. And in the afternoon, I felt really exhausted coming back into the wooden cabin where it was between 5 and 10 degrees Celsius. I was freezing and my body switched into survival mode. There was nothing else but accepting and handling the cold. After those three days, I felt lost, completely lost. And I asked myself, why did I even choose to go here? Seriously, what am I doing here? To be honest, I don't even know if I have ever felt so lost. My whole life and all of my viewpoints about life got flipped upside down. And in those moments of pain, of suffering, of freezing, I suddenly realized how blessed I was. Normally having access to water all the time, being able to cook. Not needing to worry about how am I getting food. Being fortunate enough to have a warm shower, a warm home and people I can talk to. Here I was, living my dream, alone, freezing, a one by three meter wooden cabin in the middle of the forest.
day four, I talk to James and Mike and two amazing human beings who I get to stay with and we found a solution for the cold. We put a little gas heater into the cabin that keeps me warm and cozy during the day. So yeah, today's day number four and night number five and it finally happened. I'm getting warm. I'm getting warm in here. This is absolutely perfect. From that moment on, everything changed. I didn't need to survive anymore. And now I could appreciate the beautiful nature I'm surrounded with. And for the first time here in Sweden, I felt this deep connection to myself again and learned to love myself in every situation, with every thought I'm having and every emotion I'm feeling. I found myself in the middle of the forest in silence. Hello, you beautiful people. I'm sitting here, this beautiful lake, and I'm reflecting on the week. Oh, wait just a second. <laughs> I'm reflecting on week number one here in Sweden. And I want to I want to share a couple of things with you. This week was hell of a week the first three days I felt lost I felt completely lost I don't think I don't know if I've ever felt that lost in my life my whole idea of life was flipped upside down um, you, you have seen it I'm living in this little wooden cabin which is one times three times two meters something like that is small and the first four days i had no heater at all so it was five degrees all the times i was freezing at night and the worst part was that i was freezing during the day i was when i was just sitting there and I was just surviving and obviously asking myself why am I doing this? Why am I even here? Why, why do I have to make this experience? Because going to Sweden was my heart's calling and so there must be a lesson learned for me and my soul being here and I felt lost everything got flip side down I had zero clarity and then from Thursday night on we had a coaching call with Dino and after that I was just driving home and then the next day I was spending in the forest almost the whole day and just reconnecting to myself and at that point for the first time here in Sweden, I felt connected to myself again. And actually more than ever before. And even right now I'm sitting at this lake and it's quiet. It is completely quiet. Meaning I only have myself and in the first days and in my life that I'm living right now in this cabin, I have so much time for myself and 
uh, basically without any infrastructure and without internet, without proper electricity, I'm getting cut down to my basic needs and I have time for myself. Because nature is neutral, nature is silent, nature is this soft energy where there's no judgments, nothing. And the only things that are coming up are in myself. And the first days I was not accepting, I was denying the situation I'm in and questioning it. And from Thursday on, I got to accept where I am right now. I got to accept my decisions. I got to accept who I really am in every aspect of life. And I'm still keep integrating that. I keep remembering it. And for the next weeks, I have so much time for myself, so much time to reflect and the more I am sitting here in nature and I'm listening deep within, the more ideas, the more visions, the more is showing up how I truly want to live this life and what I want to contribute to this world and that's why I'm here. I'm here to get deep in touch with myself again. Completely cut. And that's a dreamer's journey. A dreamer's journey is not, not necessarily going out there and traveling the world and doing the craziest things in life. A dreamer's journey is truly to get deep in touch with yourself, with your emotions, with your, th with your thoughts and accepting and loving every part of yourself. That's a dreamer's journey. A dreamer's journey is remembering who we truly are and more and more live from that place instead of that place and more and more get in touch with nature, with other people and build real connections. Because freedom, real freedom, is not standing on a mountain and stretching your arms. Freedom is actually feeling inside of you that you can be whoever you want to be. And with every emotion, with every thought you have, be happy with that thought. Be okay with that feeling. And freedom is not being thrived by your emotions or thoughts. Being the observer of them and choosing who you really want to be. And I, I thank you. Thank you for being part of this journey. It is so helpful and it is so much fun to share all of this journey with you. And if there is like a little spark, a little piece of inspiration you got from this video that you truly listen more to your heart's calling and do whatever you do what you truly want to do, no matter what anybody else thinks about that, then, then this video has a purpose. And if you enjoyed watching this video, leave a like leave a comment below what you want to see what you want to feel what is your dream what is your heart's calling that you want to go for no matter what your mind say about that share it with the community and share this video also with someone you love and you want to where you see a dreamer in him or in her and you want to you want him or her to be a part of this community. I love you guys and I believe in you. This journey is our journey, a dreamer's journey.